If you haven't already seen, Penguin Magic has just announced Letters from Juan Volume 1, and I thought it might be fun to watch the trailer together and get my reactions and then hear your reactions down in the comments below. It's not often that I get excited about a new book of magic. Well, he says that, but actually he just got excited about Sonata. Oh, that was a very cool 360 shot there from inside the book. I like that. But I'm excited now because Juan Tamariz is releasing six volumes that will be six distributed volumes. throughout the year. And I can't wait to read them. That's going to be pretty cool. But that also I implies that he's that. not yet read I mean, them. We're talking about a genius of the century, Who is that? of the millennium. Say, you know, people like uh, Bly Vernon. Ah, ah Roberto Giobbi. To have recommendation for the work of such an exceptional person. I mean, it's the. Nah, I always feel like it's good to get a recommendation because not everything that a genius puts out is great. Work from a genius. <laughs> I mean, those who do need an endorsement for this hmm. work really don't deserve it. So <laughs> Which begs the question, why is he doing an endorsement of this if it's for the people who don't deserve it? Send your money, put your order, that's what I will be doing. What for me is arguably the most valuable thing about it, oh, and these John are Lubbock. the letter aspect. So John, it's interesting, Ozzy, reacted to this, and John Lovick, who were both two of the people who reacted to the Sonata video. ...of these books. Uh, they are written as letters to friends. It's a literary device, but it's a great literary device that Reminds me of the Screw Tape Letters it's by C.S. Lewis. to imagine that Juan is speaking directly to you. And well, he does is sound speaking like it would be pretty cool. to you, and it makes you feel connected to him in a great way. In volume one, he tells a story about meeting Di Vernon many years ago at the Magic Castle, and ah. Vernon shared three secrets with him. So from and this made Di Vernon to Juan Tamariz to value of us. Secrets, and honoring the secrets that people are generous enough to share with us. And how to use those secrets, how to guard them, when to That's share what magic them, is all who about, to share right? them with, when and how. It's an important lesson that I think we don't think about enough. And yeah, that, we probably don't for think me, about secrets enough. Was the wonderful lesson and gift from this book. Huh. Who doesn't like receiving letters? Charlie from Fry, that's the a third person that endorsed the Fry. Sonata book. There are great ideas. Oh, look at that collection. really cool Insta 360 type shot coming through the middle. Really diabolical secrets I like that. that have never been revealed. That's a wonderful tool. Uh, there's ideas with color changing knives, which I love. Uh, color and changing knives. That stuff. reminds me of Ascanio. Uh, a variety of subjects, and it's just, it's always great when Juan shares his wisdom with the rest of us. Interesting. Letters from Juan is a very Who's this? Who's, who's talking? Juan writes. Ah, Rafael Benatar. To you, the reader. It's a little awkward that um, Juan is sitting right there watching him. Comments on anything he feels like. And then he shares four tricks with you. Four Tell tricks about it. Where okay. does this material come from? The material is the tricks. The master That's himself, Juan Tembris. Very important Tembris. for me because are the secret. That I stay for years and years in my cabinet secret. Ah. And now so these are I secrets he's claiming he hasn't to other magic given to us. To you and to you, other effect there is oil and water. Oh and my God. Oil and water. I am going to tell you a secret. This is the oil and water that I prefer of my oil and water. I love <laughs> Does that mean he has not given us the oil and waters that he thinks we would like? Very interesting. So what we know about it is that it is 44 pages. There are supposed to be six volumes. So by inference, we can say that this is going to be about 264 pages altogether. So if you put it all together into one book, it would be about 264 pages. And if they all come in at $25, we also know that you'll spend $150. So $150, 264 pages, that's not the smallest book ever. And it's a very interesting concept to have these as letters from the master. Uh, you have to compare that and we won't know until we get into the material. A book like Mnemonica is about 400 pages and comes in around, I think, 60 to 70 bucks. So it's going to be very interesting to see if this concept provides a lot of value. I think on the surface, I'm certainly interested in reading them, but I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Sound off down in the comments below. And if you like this style of video, let me know.